Right, in the previous video, what I looked at was how to draw that front view. They've asked you for this question to do a right view, but they ask you to do a sectional right view on this cutting plane AA, which you've got over there. What I would do is to start with, draw in that cutting plane on your front view so that you know what you're doing. And uh, here we go. I'm going to measure off. They say that that is 12 millimeters. Come along here. 12 millimeters multiplied by 2 would be 24 millimeters. Come in over here to my center line, mark that off on that center line, and draw in your cutting plane. Remember to thicken in the end of that line, thicken in the end of that line, and then you can draw in your arrows. Quite longish arrows over here. They're not dimensioning arrows. They are for the section line. You can make them a little bit bigger than your normal um, dimensioning arrows. There they go. Okay. Try and make them a little bit bigger. And you can label that as A. A. Just as they've done on their drawing over there. Right. Once we've got that, we now go along here and we say, well, there's my center line coming out. Um, and I'm going to draw in a center line over here. And a center line over here. Once I've got my centers, well, I can now take my measurements straight off this view. There we go. There's the outside of that cylinder. Go to the center over here and draw in the outside of the cylinder. Right. Um, I've drawn the dark all the way and I'm going to be rubbing out a small portion of that because um, we need to do some sectioning on it. But just for now, I'm just going to draw it in dark. There we go. Go to the center and draw in that little circle on the center. There are the two stories over there. Right, once we've done that, well, I come along here and I can draw in a construction line coming across from that point over there. In fact, I'm just going to try and do this with a bit of color, then you can see where these lines are coming from. There. And there. Note, I'm not taking that part out. Why? Because my cutting plane is going through there. And if I'm standing on the side looking across, well, this whole section has been taken away, so I don't need to take that across. It's just where that cutting plane cuts through that point and that point that I'm taking across to get that piece over there. Um, my cutting plane doesn't go through this part, but I'll still definitely be able to see that. So I can take that part across into my right view over there. And once I've got that, well, and then look over here and I see well, it says that it's 30 millimeters for the full width of it. So I go to my center line over here. I set my pair of compasses to 30 millimeters. Okay, which I need to double. So uh, 30 millimeters on that side, 30 millimeters on that side would give me my 60 millimeters across there. I can now draw a line going up over here. A line going up over there. And I can draw a line going across the bottom over here. That line coming from where it cut the cutting plane across there, across there. And then you'll see that there are these pieces of material. They are sort of webs going up to the, up to the uh, cylinder. And I can draw those in using a line which makes a tangent to the actual circle itself all the way up to a tangent note it doesn't stop on the center line it makes a tangent to the circle and same story over here make sure that you get that tangent just touching that circle up there right once i've done that well what is being sectioned over here um the circles definitely there's one part that i haven't drawn in yet and that is this web part over here um, I'm going to stop with that. I'm going to draw the 
top view, and then I'm going to go, come back to drawing the left view. Right, my next video, I'm going to do the top view, and then come back to doing that, um, sorry, not left view, the right view of this object.